Today, I am going to show you how to use Axial AI to identify and analyze COVID-19 patients. What you see here is the main page of the Axial AI, where it shows the most critical information of the patients, including patient ID, name, gender, age, and so on. Axial AI will automatically analyze the CT scan result after the scan is done. Here, you can see the analysis status. Now, you can see it is all completed. Here is the small icon which looks like pneumonia. Click that and you will see the filtered patient list. Axial AI will put all coronavirus suspects in this list. Let's just use this as an example. If I click this one, it will show the analysis report. You will see the CT image here. You will see a warning message tell us that this patient has a high risk of viral pneumonia from coronavirus. This bar is corresponding to the different slices. The blue color is showing the infection region. If you click here, you will see the infected region on the image. You can also turn it on and off to see if this is the real one or false positive. Axial AI is not only providing detection, but it gives you a very precise quantitative measurement. In this section, it shows the volume of infection region. It gives you the volume in cubic centimeters for the whole lung and measurement for the right and left lung. The measurement can down to lung lobe level. In this section, you will see the infected lobes, the percentage and volume of the lobe, in this case, only the left lung lobes are infected. And so, Axial AI only shows L1 and L2, the upper and lower lobe of the left lung. Axial AI can further down to lung segment level. Now, based on our knowledge, Axial AI is the only software that can provide the most precise measurement at the lung segment level. As you can see here, Axial AI can measure the volume of infected segment. Axial AI also provides intensity measurement. In this histogram, the horizontal line is HU value and the vertical line is the volume. The HU is also divided into different range. The volume is measured at each intensity range. The value is also very important for the during the patient follow up. At the final part, Axial AI will provide summary of image analysis report. You can copy and paste it your own note. Next is the follow-up feature. This feature is very important for doctor to check the previous study and to check the treatment process. So, if you click the recorded report, it will show all reports analyzed by Axial AI in the past. Then you will click the Run Follow-up. It will compare the current report with the previous report. You can see from here, the left one is current report and the right one is previous report. In this case, you will find out that the blue color bar, which is the infected slices, is reduced, which means the infected region is reduced compared to the previous report. This indicated that the patient is getting better. And looking at the quantitative measurement, you can see the green arrow. The whole long infected region is reduced. And down to the infected segments, you can see they are all improving as well. It shows the volume shrinkage. And you can see that how much it shrinks at each segment. So you will have a clearer idea the treatment is effective to which segments. And from the intensity histogram, the color one is the current one and the gray one is the previous one. You can see here it is shifted to the left, which means the intensity become lower. That is a good sign. Besides using Axial AI to diagnose and analyze coronavirus, you can also use to do research. Using the precise value analyzed by Axial AI, you can understand the effectiveness of different types of treatments. Thank you, and I hope this demo provided you an idea of how Axial AI works in hospitals.